Bird Bird. Once upon a time, Tony Stark was just walking through the desert when <laughs> he was kidnapped by terrorists. You will make us weapons to fire at Americans with. So Tony said, fuck that, and he made Iron Man, and he became Iron Man, and he was like, wow and he shot the terrorists, and they shot him, but it didn't do anything, because Iron Man is made of iron, and he's invincible, and he's like, man, look at me. And then one day, he was walking through the desert again, but he got to go home this time, and that was the end for a while, until Iron Man went back to his house, and he made a new Iron Man that was even better than the first Iron Man. And he used it to fly around, and he went, whoa, and he went, whoa, and they went, whoa, again, and then he went to the moon, and he was like, whoa, and they flew, and they flew a thing, and then there was a plane, and it blew up, and it went, Pew! and then the guy died, but he didn't really die, because Iron Man saved his life, and they killed another guy, and then he saved some village in the Middle East or something, and then for a while, everything was happy, until his best friend in the world, Major Dickface, was like, hi, Iron Man, guess what? I know you're Iron Man! And Iron Man was like, fuck you, dipshit! And he was like, hey, Iron Man! I have a better Iron Man than you! I call him Iron Urban Man! And Iron Man was like, hey, Sergeant Douchebag, shut the hell up! Iron Man's my idea! So then they fought, and he was like, whoa, and they got blown up, and went, and they, and they died, but he didn't really die. But the other guy died, and then Pepper died, but we didn't even mention her. Then she didn't die either, and then he went to a thing, and there were a million people there, and he just was like, I am Iron Man, I am Iron Man, I am Iron Man, and they were all like, whoa, and that's the end.